So the name of this town or city is Hardeen, and Hardeen means translates as garden. And everywhere you look in this city, it really is like a garden, not only from all the beautiful plants and flowers and trees, but also just the colorful buildings, ornate doorways and window coverings, horses walking through the village. And of course, it's surrounded by these beautiful mountains and coffee plantations. But everywhere you look, this place is truly a garden. see the hill <laughs> this town is built on if you look at the walls you can see the angle of the paint and the sidewalk the houses are level clearly the road is not it goes all the way up through here and all the way up to the church Hardeen is a major tourist attraction for many reasons but done more than this big huge city center with all these tables where people come and drink coffee, eat pastries in front of this beautiful church and watch the world go by. That's what we're gonna do today. You all know me by now, I love to get up early. And so down here, these little street vendors are just now starting to open up. You can see them setting up their little stands. And the restaurants are also opening up. There are already a few people out, but they're just now starting to set the tables. But don't worry, Snow's gonna come back here with me later and we're gonna enjoy this beautiful little space. I slipped out this morning and had some breakfast. You guys probably know I'm a breakfast person. Snow is not. So this is some rice and beans with a e fried egg on top, chorizo, and there's some queso inside this arepa. So my breakfast was about $3 and was absolutely delicious. I love the coffee here, it's so good. And uh, yeah, the arepas, the, the sausage, all of it was delicious. So I'll have to go grab snow, see what's going on. Maybe we'll come down here and have some hot chocolate. So the view from this hostel is absolutely stunning. And as you can see here, it's kind of a look down into the valley. Of course, we have the steep mountains back there in the backdrop, the Andes Mountains, the sun lights those up. But here we have the coffee fields, the bananas, uh, the bamboo, all the beautiful things. There's beautiful birds flying around us. There's a nice garden right back here, which is really cool. 
and then right along beside where we're parked in the van there's a little stream that runs and actually drops about 300 feet down into this valley below which skirts along the side of Hardeen. Now this little river you can see the yellow bridge that crosses there but if we follow this little river down to the right that's where we have Parca de Roca. We gotta go get these guys some food and us some food as well so we're gonna head up to the grocery and pick up a few items we have pulled the bikes out we are in this fun little city of Hardeen at a very relaxing comfortable hostel and we think it's time to go to town for lunch what do you think Kurt let's go check out Hardeen let's go do it so we rode our bikes down to the town square where they've got this big beautiful church Tons of cool places to sit in the park, but that is clearly for coffee only. I guess it makes <laughs> sense since we're like right outside the coffee triangle. Yeah. I would think it'd be a nice place to have lunch, but yeah. you, you just can't do it. And also, they're like not quick to come, like take your order. So we've definitely been in some more surface oriented places. Yeah, maybe this place just moves at a different pace. But we did find a restaurant. The bikes are parked right outside and they have it in english so there we go gonna order us some lunch i'm great there are definitely some regional dishes that look really good but they do not go with my diet plan the house specialties are the same but i can get a chicken breast on the grill with an ensalada what are you thinking kurt uh, I'm thinking about maybe the beef pot roast. Yeah. There so you go. I think we're ready, guys. Fresh limonada with sweetener instead of azucar for the diet. It's going to be yummy. Pot roast, so this would be the pot roast. Looks like it has some kind of tomato salsa on it. This would be an arepa, a rose, papas frita, banana, plantano, and a little ensalada. Looks good. It does look good. Well, right now I'm eating the salad, which was very good. I've already ate most of the goods off the top, but it wasn't just lettuce and tomato, and that was nice. So I got a chicken breast grilled. I got a giant arepa that I can't eat but a bite or two of. And some yummy looking mashed potatoes.
All right, I don't know if it's necessary, but we found a post to lock the bikes up. And we found a little grocery store here. So we're gonna head in and see what we can find. So one of the things about Columbia is they don't have a lot of American brands here, which is absolutely fine. You just kind of have to figure out what stuff is. You bagging it up, Snow? Ryan, you gotta pay. I just got some pachuga. Ah, chicken breast. Chicken breast. I like to get the frozen because sometimes the fresh stuff, you just don't know how it's been sitting on the shelf and how well it tastes. Yeah, true. So anyway. So now we need veggies? Yep. All right, let's go. All right, Kurt has gone inside this little store to pick up some tomatoes and maybe onions, just a few basics. And then, I think it'll be back to the van. snow. Ah, bonita. Gracias. <laughs> Gracias. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. <laughs> no, no entiendo. No. Uh, no entiendo. Lo siento. Ah, sí. <laughs> Mucho gusto. Ah, mucho gusto. Thank you. <laughs> Hola. All right, we have walked down to the famous little town square here in Hardeen where you sit around and have coffee. Later in the day, you have cervezas. <laughs> but we're gonna have cafe. Kurt's having a hugo, which is juice. And uh, we're gonna show you this little square on a Sunday morning, because it is bustling. This town square is surrounded by little coffee shops and a few restaurants, not many mostly coffee and juice and beer shops and in the park they set up their chairs now you know which chair you're sitting in because it is painted to match the front of the restaurant so we're sitting in the yellow and red restaurant right next to the green restaurant <laughs> it's a really cool concept guys this is definitely the social gathering spot for the locals and a hot spot for tourists. The other day when we came down here for lunch, there was not a little farmer's market, but it was uh, maybe a Thursday. Today is Sunday, and there is definitely a little market going on down here that we're gonna check out after our cafe.
How is it? It is really, really good coffee. We are in the coffee triangle of Columbia. <laughs> you would expect it to be good, but it is really good. We are picking up some fresh, already cut up mango. Wendy, uh, to go with our next stop, where I think I might get juice instead of coffee. I don't know. This church is one of the main tourist attractions for the city of Hardeen. It is the Basilica of the Immaculate Conception, and it is constructed completely of stone from the surrounding foothills. Okay, so it was first erected in 1872, and the father that started the church allegedly asked that, asked that all sinners bring stones from the nearby hills that equaled their weight of the weight of their sins for the construction. Now, it didn't become a parish until 1881, and the construction of the present church started in 1918 and was completed in 1940. Now it's famous for its two temples in its neo-Gothic style. It also suffered a earthquake in 1979 that did not destroy it but required a lot of uh, repairs and the park that surrounds it that we're sitting in right now had major destruction and was completely rebuilt. And what is cool is that while I am telling you about this church, the church bells just started going off. And that is so cool. I'm glad we could be down here on a Sunday where it looks like they have service after service after service. So this is only a few hours from Medellin by bus. There's tours that come out here daily. If you turn Medellin, Colombia into a vacation, you definitely need to take a trip out here to Hardy. So we had to stop by the store, the pet store, the animal store, and get flea stuff for the kitty cats. And look, they got all these little chickens here. What a cool place we found here in Hardeen. I gotta tell you, this place is special. But everybody's been telling me about this amazing hike to Seven Cascadas. Whoa. This thing is supposed to be one of the most amazing hikes in Colombia. I can't wait, but we're going to do that in the next episode. So this is where we say goodbye, wind it down. Thanks for coming along on the journey. Can't wait to see you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers, guys. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys.